Hi, my name is Jeff Pollard. I'm head of chemistry at the school that I'm teaching at at the moment, uh, which is a great school, and I kind of owe the job that I've got now to uh, experiences that I had with languages, both when I was at school and then after. I spent uh, 11 years living in Rio in uh, Brazil, uh, which is an absolutely fantastic place. Uh, better than the photographs, better than everything you've heard about it. Absolutely wonderful. They don't speak much English and you don't get to the heart of what Rio is all about unless you actually speak some of the language. So I had to learn Portuguese when I went. I didn't really know any before I went, but I had the confidence to go and knowing that I was going to have to learn the language because of an experience that I had when I was 25 uh, in France where I was in trouble and I thought I wasn't going to be able to speak French. And the French that I'd learned at school, which wasn't that good, it wasn't that high a standard, helped me at that point just to get enough to make myself understood. And once I got myself understood, I suddenly realised that how much power you have to get to know other people, new cultures, different cultures, cultures that are not so influenced by uh, England and the English culture, um, that opportunity wouldn't have come to me if I hadn't had a little bit of language when I started out. Uh, and so uh, language at school made a huge difference to me and completely actually changed my life. If I hadn't really got that extra little bit of French at that stage, I wouldn't have been able to survive in France uh, when I was having difficulties and lost passports and money and all that sort of thing on a holiday. And I wouldn't have been able to get out of that situation and I'd have been forever unconfident about language. And that little bit of extra confidence that I got back from my school knowledge helped me spend these 11 fantastic years uh, in one of the most amazing countries you can possibly imagine. Uh, my name is Tiffany Yates and I'm a GAP student here at Huckle. Um, I started speaking French at the age of five um, and have started and just carried on learning ever since. Uh, I lived in France at the age of 11 and have done loads of stuff with it really since. Um, and I'm actually going to go out next time to live in Rwanda and to work at a school there, which is really exciting and it's basically because of my French. Um, yeah, so learn languages because they're really fun, uh, really rewarding and I've met loads of fantastic friends who well, stay with for life. Basically. Okay, so languages have been important for me in, in two real um, ways. Firstly, in a more professional sort of thing, um, I did a lot of public speaking in conferences when I when at university and at school. And when we went abroad to these various different events, it was always, of course, the English is the language of, of debate. But at the, the conferences themselves, lots of people from different countries, it was nice to have the ability to speak to people in a less formal way in a language which wasn't my dominant language, English. We spoke to people in French as a means of trying to make things a little bit more equal. It was fun, it was exciting, and you got to learn cool phrases, and you got to mix with people um, from around the world, which was awesome. And then you met, made friends from there, and you spent time with them on side. I met my other half, she's a French girl through these, through these events, so I went and spent more time in French. Uh, France rather, you know, and then um, you know, spoke with members of her family, and of course there, those being French, it was interesting for me to try and speak to them and get them well with the, the in-laws as it were by, uh, by speaking French, and hopefully I've improved a wee bit since I've started. And secondly, in a sporting way, at university, we have lots of people from around the world come to the British universities now. It's more useful, I think, in a kind of when you're playing football with each other or hockey or whatever you do. Um, or rugby, in, in, perhaps in your case, if you can either scream abuse at an opposition or support for a colleague in a language which is their, their native language, because firstly, it's, it's going to get through to them, and secondly, it's kind of nice of you to support your colleagues and teammates. So languages are good. They're, they're practical, they're, they're functional, and they're also rather, rather good for understanding your own language. And you see the amount of words in English which come from French or Latin or Italian. It's really very surprising. So yeah, languages are good, interesting, and Think of all the professional sportsmen who can speak another language, it doesn't happen by magic, they've got to try. Language were very important for me because um, I like to travel a lot and uh, that's very useful to communicate and exchange with people in different countries. And um, I love first German at school, then English, and after school uh, I learned a third language, a little of Spanish. Um, and yeah, obviously English is really useful now because I'm working uh, in England and um, I use uh, all the language in European project, like Comenius project. Uh, we were working in several schools from different countries together, Germany, Sweden, Greece, Italy, uh, and uh, we were always speaking 
um, either English or other languages together with different teachers. There, there were a lot of um, language teacher involved, but also uh, from other subjects. I, I, I actually teach history and geography in France, and uh, when I will return to France after my year here in Ukraine, I will teach history and geography in English. And uh, that's always good on a CV to, ha to have uh, more uh, ability to speak uh, different languages because that's useful for um, uh, commerce and say. My name is Chris Jones, I'm a science teacher here at Hockrell. Um My language experience started uh, when I was about 26, so uh, quite a long time after I'd finished school and I had done GCSE French when I was at school. But what happened was I was living in London, living in London and uh, I met uh, a girl who was French and uh, I found that learning to speak her language was a very good way uh, to get her to know her better. And uh, indeed I think learning languages in general is a good way to meet girls. And so um, I ended up living in France and uh, working in France for a little bit of time. Then um, uh, after a while I came back to England to study a, a, a teacher training course which was for, specifically for people who wanted, who wanted to teach a subject like science through a language like French and so we do some uh, science and French teaching here at the school. I also speak a bit of Spanish and some Japanese as well and again it's mostly motivated by the fact that I can meet girls from those countries. Hello, I'm Tanya Stege, I am German and I have lived in the UK now for 11 years. I studied German literature, Russian and English languages at university and I'm very, very keen on languages. I have been at Hockwell Anglo European College um, in the language department for 11 years now, teaching German, obviously as a um, foreign language, as well as the literature at Hockwell. Um, I started off in Russian clubs here at Hockwell and I had a very, very good take up of that because people found it really an interesting language to study because it was different. A huge population of Russians obviously speaks it as their native language and it's an inter interesting country to travel. So it, it is hard in the beginning they thought because it has a different script, it was very interesting but on the other hand um, they really got into it, they enjoyed um, studying it like I did at university and for instance, it's a good example, I think, about getting to know another culture. I've got very, very good friends over there, which I probably wouldn't have met without being able to communicate in their language with them. And when you are then there, when you go on, on your travels and stuff, um, you really get much better insight into the culture, into the, um, you know, the people's characters, mentalities and everything, than just doing it in, in another language. Um, so, altogether, I can only, only support learning as many languages as possible and I have had students actually in the past that then started working in um, professions that have not primarily to do with languages such as um, gastron gastronomy, hotels and stuff and they wouldn't have got the job actually without their knowledge of German and French which we offer here at Hockwell um, as, an obli as obligatory science. I'm, um, my name is Josmeyer Bloemert and I am from the Netherlands and an English teacher here at, um, at Hockerl. Started um, about half a year ago and um, the importance that, or the impact that languages have brought in my life is, um, is multiple. First of all, I lived in many different countries in the world and um, I've tried to learn all the languages in all the countries that I've learned. Sometimes I succeeded, sometimes I did not really succeed that well. Um, I think the biggest impact speaking another language has had on my life is um, living in South Africa and being able to communicate to um, South African, white South African farmers about the same subject as speaking to um, uh, people who used to work for these white South African farmers and there was a lady who uh, was my housekeeper at the time, Evelina, and I would not have been able to discuss certain subjects um, would I have not been able to speak South African. And in the beginning it was quite hard to actually speak South African, but because especially the white South African farmers refused to speak English to me, um, they kind of warmed to me and warmed to my questions and eventually they did open up and they did speak to me when I was actually speaking Afrikaans to them. Um, that's one thing that made a big impact on my life because um, 
because of the answers they've given. I'm not quite sure whether or not I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that knowledge, but uh, well, it actually contributes to my life a lot. Another thing that I love about speaking different languages is actually watching movies in the original version and um, sometimes getting quite frustrated about the you know, bad translation that some of them give. Hello, my name is Elke. Um, I started learning languages when I was about 10 years old and it's helped me a lot in lots of different ways. Um, when I was a bit older, when I was in sixth form, I started giving language lessons to younger students, so that was a good money earner. Um, that was nice, and it's also helped me uh, learn other languages. For example, I learned French at school, and my sister learned Italian, and she then sent me postcards in Italian, and I could kind of read them because I learned French. So that was always good fun. Um, I also learned a little bit of Latin, and because I went to school in Germany, I never understood German very well until I learned Latin, so suddenly that all made sense. Um, and in the end, I went abroad and studied abroad, so if I hadn't learned a foreign language, I couldn't have done that, because I needed that. And um, I now earn my money teaching foreign languages to other people, so it's a great way of not only making money, that sounds awful, but it's a great way you can travel, and it's never, it's, it's so cool when you go somewhere and you say something in their language, and they respond, and you know that you've done, you feel a real sense of achievement, and I love having my name is Hugh Michel and I am an Italian teacher here at Hockerall. Um, I've used languages all over the place. Um, I studied French and Italian at university and during that time I went to Italy to study but ended up playing for an Italian rugby team called L'Aquila. Um, the fact that I could speak Italian meant that I was um, welcomed into the team for one, um, being a complete stranger to them. Uh, it also meant that I could understand what was going on in training, uh, which was very important because it meant I didn't look like a complete idiot in front of all of my new teammates. Um, also, some of the other players who didn't have a knack for languages and were English or, new, or from New Zealand or South African uh, needed a bit of help. And so, because I could speak Italian, I became a, an interpreter, basically, for the team. And... Uh, became quite an important member of the team because of that. Um, then, after, after university, I went to France to play rugby again, um, but had nothing sorted at all before I went, and because I could speak French, I could go and chat to some people in town, find out where the local club was, and by the end of it, I had a job, a rugby team, a whole, whole set of friends, and ended up having a great time and a great year.